This is the EPA SWIM National Stormwater Calculator, which uses a SWIM 5 engine and a really nice database lookup to soils, topography, precipitation, evaporation, and links to the um, National Weather Service's uh, climate change models. So to run this, and I'll, and I'll put the link to uh, the EPA SWIM site on the, in the discussion part of this YouTube video. You give it a location. So we're going to look at Northwest Tampa here. My site area, one acre. Go to soil type. It, it loads of soil. As you can see, uh, it's very uh, swampy around here. So it's low runoff potential. You go to soil drainage, very flat. And we're going to use um, use uh, one here. Topography, again the flat area. Precipitation, it gives you a choice of the low of the areas near near the near your facility or your house. And we'll use the Tampa Airport facility. Evaporation, we'll use uh, Tarpon Springs evaporation. Climate change, you get a few options. No change, hot, dry, medium change, warm, wet. So this is Florida, we'll use warm, wet. And then we'd look at far term. What's going to happen 30 years from now, 30 to uh, 50 years from now? Land cover, um, we're going to say it's 30% impervious. A little bit of meadow, 10% forest, mainly lawn. LID controls. Um, Basically, you have the option of disconnection. Doesn't really apply to this case since it's uh, not a combined area. Rain harvesting, rain gardens, green roofs, street planters, infiltration basins, and permeable pavement. Click over here in results, and I have a baseline scenario which is without the LID. And the current scenario shows the effect of the LID. So more infiltration, a little bit less runoff, and about the same evaporation. And it gives you nice statistics here for um, basically what's coming off of your property. Nice um, bef uh, baseline and um, exceedance frequency, retention frequency for your uh, rainfall in, into your um, off your basin. Uh, frequency analysis of runoff, another handy statistic and then extreme events. So what we're looking at here is daily rainfall runoff per inches and different return period years. So it goes up to 100 years. So that's a little about the uh, EPA National Stormwater Calculator. Very flexible. It, it's Right now it's set up only to use US data. So if you wanted to use it in a different country you would have to get a similar US station to what occurs in your particular country. So thank you for listening and we'll um, stop this